Today I'm going to tell you about the 10 countries with the highest percentage of white residents outside of Europe, and I'm sure some will surprise you. Welcome back to World According to Briggs. After we did our black and white series, I got a lot of requests to do the same thing for countries. I did a little research and decided to go with the whitest countries outside of Europe and Scandinavia. Now I have to throw in Scandinavia there because there's some people on this planet that don't think Norway, Sweden, and Finland are part of Europe. They are part of Europe, but some people scour YouTube videos for anything that they can consider a mistake and then try and turn it into their gotcha moment for the day. I really shouldn't complain about those people because in reality, they've really helped this channel grow. In case you don't know, comments, whether they're good or bad, help a channel grow. Now, what is considered a white person? We've used people with European origin to define the term white in this video. White obviously isn't a race, even though it's a race choice when you apply to be a night cook and boxing coach at Waffle House. I remember all the paperwork I filled out for the military. They're all, what's your race? White, black, Hispanic, other. Now for this video, we got our stats from the CIA website. And yes, they publish things like that. And when we could find the info, we cross reference that with the country in questions website. Got it, get it, good. Let's take a look. Number 10, South Africa. This one should be a surprise to anyone that's really not up on their geography or their world politics over the last 30 years. I mean, most people are going to think Africa. Shouldn't that be like 99% African people and 1% rich European white guys on safaris? The fact is, no, that's not how it is. South Africa has a complex and sometimes troubled racial past. For decades, they had a form of racial segregation that they called apartheid. And it wasn't until the 1990s that the government began to dismantle the oppressive system. They've got a long way to go, but Africa since the 90s has been working towards a better way of getting along, I guess you could say. More equal and just society. South Africa has a population of just about 60 million, with about 9% being considered white. Number nine, Mexico. Now, when you think of Mexico, you might think of tacos, sombreros, and tequila. And that's the stereotypes. Those are well-deserved stereotypes because you can get some incredible tacos there. Who doesn't love a sombrero? And they make really good tequila. But the fact is, Mexico's a pretty cool country. They've got some problems, especially recently with all their cartel issues. But did you know that Mexico is home to some of the world's most breathtaking beaches? That's right, you can find crystal clear water and white sand shores in places like Cancun and Tulum. If you're feeling adventurous, you could go all the way out to Cozumel, which is a little island out there, and swim with some dolphins. I will be doing that in three weeks. Now, this one surprised me, and I kind of went against what I give people a hard time about. Your opinion doesn't matter when it comes to the stats. In my opinion, I think this one's a little off, because I know a lot of people that have moved down to Mexico. I grew up in Southern California, and a lot of people I know went down and, you know, started living in Mexico. Some of them are still there. Now, I know deep down the stats are closer to reality than my opinion opinion, but it's still kind of weird to me. The population of Mexico is about 127 million residents with about 10% being considered white. Number eight, Colombia. Another surprise. I like Colombia. I've been there a few times. The first time I went there was a little scary. It was late 80s, early 90s. But it's nothing like it was back then. They still have some issues, but nothing compared to the old days. I mean, right now, most people, when they think of Colombia, they probably think of drugs and cartels. And while that's true, the country has had their fair share of problems in the past with illegal drugs, there's so much more to this country than that. Back in the 90s and late 80s, you would not dream of becoming an expat in Colombia. These days, I wouldn't say it's common, but it's happening a lot more than you'd probably guess. The crystal clear waters of the Caribbean coast, lush green mountains of the Andes, there's a lot to see and do in this country. In 2021, Colombia had a population of 51 million, a little bit over, and of that, 20% are considered white. Number seven, Venezuela. Right next door to Colombia, we have Venezuela. Venezuela is a country located in South America that is known for its rich culture, stunning natural beauty, and unfortunately, its political and economic turmoil. Yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare down there. Despite all the problems this country has faced in recent years, the people of Venezuela remain resilient. They're very optimistic people, and they got a lot of oil. They've had years where they're in the top 15 for the largest amount of oil produced, but generally they stay within the top 25. And 
they get a lot of oil spills too. There's actually a joke. Why did the Venezuelan go to the beach? To see all the oil wash ashore. A lot of oil industry Americans go down to Venezuela to live, to help out. At least they did in past years. Not as much these days with all their political turmoil, but Venezuela has a population of 28 million and of that 43% are considered white. Number six, Brazil. This one might surprise a lot of you. Probably surprised that they even made a list like this. But when you know their history, uh, you realize a lot of uh, Europeans colonized this land and continue to move there, especially during World War II. A lot of the German military that were able to escape, escaped to Brazil. Brazil has a population of about 214 million residents and of that, 47% are considered white. Number five, Canada. The only thing that surprised me about this one is they're number five and not like number two or three. I don't know if I'm going to the wrong places, but every time I go to Canada, I see nothing but white Canucks. Come to find out that great white North nickname has to do with snow and not people. In 2021, the population of Canada was a little over 38 million residents. And of that, about 70% is considered white. Number four, the United States of America. That's right, here they are, the United States. Growing up in Southern California and spending a lot of time in the South when I was in the military and things like that, I would have thought this is impossible. There's no way that the United States has such a high rate of white residents. Then I moved to Oregon, I'm all, oh yeah, okay, so that makes total sense now. This is a great part of the video where I could probably tell you the history of the slavery thing and the colonization of the United States and the indigenous people, but since about 90% of my audience is from the United States. You already know that stuff. The population of the United States is 332 million residents and of that 75% are considered white. Number three, Chile. Chile is known for a couple things, stunning landscape and their love of soccer or football, if you're not from the United States. From the Atacama Desert to the Andes Mountains to the Patagonia Glaciers, Chile's got it all. Did you know the Atacama Desert is the driest place on earth? I always thought it was my stand-up comedy. The people of Chile are just as diverse as the landscape, with a mix of indigenous and European influences. The culture of Chile is really unique. The population of Chile is about 20 million residents, and of that, 88% are considered white. Number two, Australia. This one, yeah, you know, not really surprised on this one. It started off as a British, like, prison colony. Well, I mean, the Aboriginal people were there first, but the settlers were mostly convicts. Yeah, that's the truth. Australia, once known as New South Wales, was originally planned as a penal colony. Penal colony. In October of 1876, the British government appointed Arthur Phillip, captain of the HMS Sirius, and commissioned him to establish an agricultural work camp there for British convicts. One thing leads to another and we get Crocodile Dundee. The original name the British gave it is now one of their like territories or whatever. There's only a handful of good sized cities in this country. It's a huge country. You got Brisbane, you got Sydney down New South Wales and Victoria, you got Melbourne and you got Adelaide in South Australia and then Western Australia, you got Perth. Other than that, you might find little towns or small cities like Darwin on the north side of Australia and then down south of Perth, you got Margaret River. Then one of my favorite places, Cooper Pedy. This is a town where a lot of the residents live underground. Yeah, they tunneled their way into the hillside to get away from the heat. If you ever decide to move to Australia, keep one thing in mind. You got to get some rue away. You spray it around your yard and the ruse won't get in your yard and box your kids. Australia has a population of about 26 million residents and 92% of them are considered white. All right, before we get to number one, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you did. We're getting really close to a million subscribers, and I'd like to do it before summer. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just a click of a button, and it really, really helps us out. All right, on to number one. And number one, Argentina. Who saw this one coming? This one was a surprise. I don't know a ton about Argentina, but I really didn't think it was going to be almost 100% white. There are Scandinavian countries that don't have as high a percentage of white people that Argentina does. Argentina has a population of almost 46 million, and of that, 97% are considered white. 
All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.